How's it, everybody? Um, I'm back uh, sooner than I did for the last one, so much quicker. I uh, think I'm starting to actually really get into the video thing and enjoying it, so I thought, why not, you know, do a second one? Um, apologies for the either kind of not so great quality of the lighting and the video. Um, doing my first one in the evening, so yeah, I guess I'm going to have to work on kind of making making the effects a bit better. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think it's been been a couple of days since the last video. Um, you know, the last one was the was kind of Saturday, right? Before the before the announcement, before the Denmark game, Ericsson, man, I mean, how sad and scary was that? I think, you know, I had just gotten home that on Saturday evening and to see to see that was yeah, it was hectic. I mean went upstairs and then I heard this kind of something about medical and emergency and I was like, What? What's going on? Came down and then saw it and heard Ericsson's name as well. And I was like, damn, I mean, it's crazy, you know. Um, we've seen it before and there's been incidents that have happened. So just glad that he's okay. Um, I think kind of, you know, definitely had to cover that one first up. Um, but yeah, I think it just kind of can put things into perspective as well um, in how quickly things can change in life. So... So yeah, I think the main thing is that Christian's okay and, you know, really hope he, he continues his recovery. So yeah, pretty much hoping that that will be fine. Um, then, yeah, I think interestingly, on Saturday night, we saw the announcement for the official club announcement, finally. Um, I suppose, I mean, it's taken so long. I think Fabio, I've seen on his Instagram page, he... He himself put a Tottenham logo um, probably like a week ago. Um, I think I don't know if it, I think it's his official page. So you know it's it's quite funny, but at least we look. We finally made it. I think fair play, and it, it's great to see to see him there at the club now. Um, yeah, really de delighted that he's joined. Um, I think he can be a really great signing for us um, as the new well, signing, I mean, not like a player signing, but a new addition to the Spurs um, Spurs backroom kind of staff and as the club. Um, you know, I've said and I've, I've been feeling for a while now that we really need some real quality footballing people behind the scenes at the club to try and push us forward because... Um, I think that's kind of what's been lacking a little bit. And it's all about having, you know, from the bottom to the top, people who really believe in 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 being a in win, having a winning culture. Um, so yeah, I think it's you know, we, we kind of we all knew it was coming. Worst kept secret in football. Um, but nice to see it finally announced. Um, so yeah, welcome Fabio. Um, I sent you a message on Instagram, so, you know, um, you know, please, man, if you can respond, I appreciate it, hit me up, you know, I, I'm happy to do some, some scouting work for Spurs and try and, you know, help us to, to really improve our, our position where we are in the league, you know, um, sixth and seventh last two seasons, so it's been a bit disappointing, but encouragingly enough, we're seeing that the According to reports, again, um, the biggest emphasis is going to be on the defense, according to some of the, the reports that have been coming out. So Paratici and Fonseca are reportedly going to be um, really looking to strengthen our defense as a first point of call. Also, what they, they've been saying is that the focus is really going to be around getting good coaches in place or, or you know the coaching staff he's kind of his backroom staff um you know emphasis will be on and firstly really looking at quality defensive minded coaches um, who, who are good at getting the best out of um, players and, and the defense so i think that's also a real positive sign because we all know that that's been the biggest area of 
concern for Spurs and our weak link is our defence. Um, really, at times last season, I felt like we just were unable to keep, keep a clean sheet. No matter how hard we tried, we couldn't keep a clean sheet, you know. Um, and look, a lot of it was also probably down to Mourinho's tactics of kind of scoring early, going one up, and then just defending and inviting the pressure on. But And when you do that, you obviously are more likely to concede. So... But still, I think it is evident, and I think as fans, we all know that that's an area where we need to strengthen. So, yeah, it's going to be quite interesting to see and encouraging that that's where they feel like we need to focus on. Um, and hopefully we can get some some great guys in, you know. I mean, Anderson's been linked. Benucci, as I mentioned previously, um, would, be, would be pretty happy if we get, get those guys in, players of that quality. Um, I saw Torres uh, for Spain the other night. I think he'll be a great player. Um, I like Nathan Eki. Um So, yeah, I mean, I think there's no doubt that's where, where we need to be focusing. Um, and then, yeah, so at the same time as we had the Paratici announcement, we saw Daniel Levy releasing a video Um which are, which was mixed reactions, I must say. Uh, I've seen it posted on LinkedIn, and I know there were quite a few comments there, positive comments of guys saying, you know, you, you know, he's done a great job and he's really a great chairman. Um, but then we do know that there's the other side of it, and a lot of fans have kind of been not so happy with it, feeling he's, you know, there was this kind of a dig there at Mar at uh, Joe, uh, sorry, at Pochettino. Um, not so subtle dig saying that, you know, in the past he's, you know, he's not necessarily not wanted to buy players and it's been due to the coach. And we all know that that's a reference to Pochettino. Um, you know, all Spurs fans will know that that's kind of has been what's been out in the, the news. And I mean, I'm, I've been reading his book as well, Brave New World, and you can see that he does sometimes have that mindset. And at a certain point in time, he might have felt that way. But, you know, I think, you know, if you look at it from the perspective of would Pochettino have been upset if, if Levy, you know, had bought players at that time when we needed to rebuild, i.e. 2016, 2017? No, of course not. Um, it's like... You know, as a, you know, guys, I mean, for example, we, you know, you've got a girlfriend and she, you know, you know that you're going through maybe, you know, you both understand that financially something, certain things aren't possible maybe, but let's say you, you know, we were building a stadium, let's say you're building a house together and she says, oh no, don't worry, don't, you know, you don't have to buy me nice things, you don't have to go on a nice holiday, you know, but if you do it, she's going to be happy. I mean, it's not like she's going to say no and not be an, and be upset with you. So it's a similar thing. If you look at that analogy, I mean, for me, I don't see why Levy couldn't have um, just gone in and and bought some players that we needed at the time. So yeah, I think uh, it's you know it was. I don't think it was necessary. I think it, it lacked a bit of bit of class, you know, from as a leader, you know, you wouldn't often see leaders coming out and talking like that. Um, if you just have to think of being in your organization at a way that you work in, the CEO or MD of your business, it's unlikely you'll see them publicly, you know, if they do have to speak publicly, um, do those kind of things. So, yeah, for me, it was a strange one. And I think, yeah, I think, I don't think it was really necessary. It's almost like, He's maybe a little bit too emotionally involved, which is good. It's a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing. So, and we all know he is a fan. Um, it's been well documented that he's a fan of the club. Um, but yeah, I think sometimes maybe you just wonder: is it is it affecting and clouding the the judgment? Um, but look, like I think some of the guys have said, fair play to him. He, you know, he does have the the kind of sustainability of the business in mind, um, the financial stability and 
Um, it's just, I guess, as fans, it's difficult to accept when you when you kind of just want to see your team doing well on the pitch. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, I've probably got a bit more of a moderate view as opposed to some guys who are very, uh, you know, heavily anti. Uh, look, heavily anti Daniel Levy. I also disagree with a lot of the things he's done, but, you know, some people might say, oh, well, it's a bit boring, but, you know, I think you need to also be a bit, be a bit more kind of... Uh, you know, balanced in the view. So, yeah, I think that was that was quite an interesting one. Not also not something you see him do very often. So, um, and then yeah, it was the England game on Sunday. Uh, Harry Kane, our captain, well, not England's captain, uh, but a Spurs Spurs player, featured there. Then I suppose he's probably a decent game. Um, but yeah, I think. You know, obviously not not English, but it would be cool to see the English do well in in the Euros. Um, being someone who follows the Premier League quite keenly, um, and then yeah, I mean, we we expect to see the Paratic, sorry, the uh, Fonseca announcement tomorrow. I don't think it's dropped yet, unless it's happened sometime this evening. But most likely, we'll we'll see it be confirmed tomorrow, and I think. Um, also, yeah, I, see, I think the, the Premier League fixtures are coming out tomorrow, so it'll be quite cool to see who we get. I believe I saw something come through on my phone. Um, my calendar saying that is the, the games are being released tomorrow, so it'll be quite interesting to see that. Um, who we have in the first few games. It's always nice, you know, if you have a, a good run of fixtures to start with to build a bit of momentum. I mean, I think the new manager is going to need it, you know, Paolo. Um, because if we start badly, you know, the fans, we know the fans could get on his back, which, I would, you know, you really don't want to see. I mean, as fans, we have a role to play as well in how the team performs. And I think if we, if there's some negativity, it filters down to them. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I think, like I said, I think hopefully, you know, we, we can make some good signings. I really feel like, you know, Spurs, you know, we could be really one window away from really getting back on track if, if everything goes according to plan. You know, we've already, we've already probably raised almost 20 million pounds just from selling players, well, not even, just from players who have one even in our squad last year. Um, Juan Foyth was on loan at Villarreal. We've got probably around 13 million pounds for him. Marcus Edwards um, has left the club, but we have a sell-on, so... He's been sold from one club to another and we're getting 50%, which is a great deal. That's another five million pounds. So without even starting, you know, we've almost got 20 million. So, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, like I said in the video previously on Saturday, I think you really just have to try and, you know, be hopeful for the season and and give give the guy a chance. And if we if we really get it right with some of our transfers and get rid of the players we need to. Um, I don't see why this, this coming season can't be can't be a positive one for us. So, yeah, I think that's it for me. I want to end on a positive note. Um, like I said, looking forward to the season, um, looking forward to the fixed announcement tomorrow, looking forward to probably the, 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 the confirmation of Fonseca as our manager and seeing some, some transfer activity happening in the next couple of weeks, you know moving quickly to bring in some guys, new signings. So, yeah, man, look out for it. I'll probably try and uh, do a couple more more videos um, more frequently now. Um, and, yeah, I hope you well, stay safe, um, and come on, you Spurs!